my channel and in today's video I'll be showing you how I use these three simple products to keep ingrown hairs at bay. So the first step is to cleanse the area. So today I'll be using my hand to demonstrate and I've already washed my hand. I'm nice and clean. There's no product, nothing on there. So let's begin. So after you've cleansed, the first step will be witch hazel. So you want to use the witch hazel to even further cleanse your skin and ensure that your pores are unclogged and all the things that witch hazel promises to do i will put on the screen so that you can see the benefits of witch hazel but that's what i do to further prep the skin for the next step so we just go ahead and dab a little bit of the witch hazel on a cotton pad and wipe the area i'll show you that now I like to have my cotton pot a little soaked, so it's pretty wet, I even spilled a little, but you just go in and cleanse the area, thoroughly cleanse it, doesn't matter where, you can use this anywhere on your body, it's, it's pretty safe. Once that's cleansed, you just allow it to dry a little, you can see that it's a little damp. So I allow it to dry and then you're ready for the next step. Oh, also, you can see where even though I cleansed my hand prior to this, it's a, the cotton pad is a little dirty. So this is exactly why you want to go in and cleanse your skin another time with the witch hazel. It's probably not showing up that well on camera, but it's a little dirty. So after you're done with the witch hazel, it's time for the real treatment. And that's where the tea tree and the olive oil come in. N please note though that you can use any carrier oil of your choice. I choose olive oil because I always have it on hand, but you can use coconut oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, any of those are good to work with this. So the real treat though is the tea tree oil, which is what is going to treat your ingrown hairs. All right, so now we've opened both our bottles of olive oil and tea tree oil and we i have about a quarter of the amount in this container so this is i think this is an ounce i think this is 30 milliliters but you only need a few drops so for this size or amount i would add about two drops because tea tree is incredibly potent you never want to use too much Right, so I have a little dropper here. I'm gonna just take up a little bit, it's quite a bit. I'm just gonna add about a drop, one more, and that's it. I'm gonna empty the rest back in here because this dropper is not just for this. And you can just shake this up and apply it to your shaved area. Now that you have your concoction, you can go ahead and apply it some to the area. And you rub it in as you would anything else. You can be as liberal as you would like with this. It really just depends on the surface area that you're covering and the needs that you have. So if you have a lot of existing ingrown hairs, then you might want to apply more. And if you don't have a lot, you can probably spot treat. But this is how I would use it. And I just rub it in, just like you would any body oil or anything like that and saturate the skin and then that's you you're good to go you can 
get dressed as normal and do whatever else you need to do in a day. So to incorporate this into your self-care routine, whenever you wax, shave, or any other hair removal process, you can start this the day of or the day after. And keep going until, I would say keep going until the hair starts to regrow. And then at that point you can probably stop or use it every other day until you feel like you don't need to anymore use this on any part of your body where you have hair removal being done hey guys i hope you just enjoyed this simple easy solution to ingrown hairs and if it works for you please leave me a comment down below and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful subscribe like and share this video with a friend Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.